The Jabara Award for Airmanship, awarded to Air Force Academy graduates whose accomplishments demonstrate superior performance in the air. Who was Colonel James Jabara, after whom tonight's award is named? Jabara was initially deemed too short and allegedly had poor eyesight. He was told he would not be considered for pilot training. Nevertheless, he enlisted as an aviation cadet at Fort Riley, Kansas, passing all required medical standards. After attending four flying schools, Jabara earned his pilot's wings and a commission as second lieutenant at Moorefield, Texas in October 1943. Between 1944 and 1945, Jabara flew two tours of combat duty during World War II, flying a total of 108 combat missions. He received the Distinguished Flying Cross and the Air Medal for his efforts. He arrived in Korea on December 13, 1950, with the 4th Fighter Interceptor Wing, the first F-86 unit deployed to counter the threat to Allied air operations by Soviet MiG-15s. His first confirmed kill was on April 3, 1951. Over the next month and a half, Jabara would shoot down five more MiG-15s, making him the first American jet ace in history. On May 20, 1951, the day he shot down his fifth and sixth MiGs, Jabara was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross Award for his heroics. He also earned a Silver Star with an Oak Leaf Cluster Award. After a stateside publicity tour, he returned to Korea at his request, now a major for another tour of duty. He would shoot down another nine MiGs for a total of 15. Today, his legacy of excellence lives on with the Colonel Jabara Award for Airmanship. And tonight, we honor U.S. Air Force Major Matthew Kuda, the 55th recipient of this prestigious award. On May 21, 2014, Major Kuda and his wingman answered the call to aid an Army EOD platoon pinned down in an Afghani canyon. Separated, disoriented, and taking heavy gunfire, the rookie JTEC on the ground could not accurately locate the five soldiers who had been ambushed. With a malfunctioning targeting pod, Major Kuda relied on visual references to locate their position. After troubleshooting the issue, Major Kuda was able to use his helmet-mounted sighting device to cue the targeting pod onto the friendly's location. But upon arming the bomb, the weapon malfunctioned and failed to release. Ah, damn it, it failed! Transfer again, step back! On his second attempt, Major Kuda successfully released his only remaining GBU-38 within a narrow 10-degree heading margin that would allow the bomb to fall inside the 50-foot-wide canyon and impact on the canyon floor. But, after a successful impact, the enemy immediately resumed firing on the platoon. Now at minimum fuel, Major Kuda immediately switched to a laser-guided bomb. Copy, if I move it north, it's going to be danger close at the nearest friendly. He released the weapon directly onto the enemy's position, which also detonated the enemy's explosive materials upon impact, allowing for the platoon to escape. Impact. Copy. Fifteen enemy combatants were killed during the mission. Major Kuda's patience and resolve resulted in the rescue of all five EOD platoon members, neutralized the enemy fighting position, and ultimately saved the lives of 41 Americans. His heroic act in Afghanistan and persistent combat leadership and superior performance in both Iraq and Syria reflect highly on the Air Force Academy's contribution to airmanship and aviation.